So, why did the golem destroy the people of Catlin, you ask? It's quite simple, really. The golem began to see the humans as the greatest threat to the city. I robot, I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I actually forgot the name of the game there. That's why the pause was so long. It wasn't for dramatic effect. No, it was for dramatic effect. What was I kidding? Last time, we, uh, we completed this Cantlin shield here, and, um, yeah, the ground shook, which, which indicates badness. Today, we're gonna talk to Lorochir, Larouche, or whatever his name is. We're gonna talk to this, this guy, after we take a look and see what food we got. That's pretty cool. Actually, let's take a look and see what, um, what, what we got in here. Uh, oh, oh, they've actually built the buttresses. It's kind of neat. Some straw flooring, some brick walls. Pretty cool. And another wooden door. And another f plant pot. Pretty neat. Anyway, like I said, let us talk to LaRouche, LaRock, LaRachiki, whatever his name is, and uh, let's see what he has to say. <laughs> Dazza, seems the day of judgment is upon us. You felt the earth shake, didn't you? It could only mean that Cantlin's protector, the Golem Guardian, has awoken. Still, I doubt the fiend will attack us straight away. No doubt he'll send his armies to soften us up first. I don't know if you can have what it takes. I don't know if you have what it takes to defeat them, but if you can't, this town is finished. This is the beginning of our final battle. Are you ready to face this fight? Yes, I am. Dazza, why do you think that the golem who should have protected Cantlin ended up turning against the place? <laughs> it's because it didn't. The golem didn't destroy the city. It merely destroyed everyone who lived here. It wasn't malfunctioning, nor had it been tricked or taken over by the monsters. It annihilated the citizens of Cantlin in an attempt to protect the city itself. There is more to the story, and should we survive this battle, I'll tell it to you. But now, it's time to drive these monsters back. Boo bum ba bum ba Yeah. So we have a couple of um, pre-final boss battles to do. Uh, which way is the badness? Was it... I forget. Oh, it's over here. Uh, so, let's let our defences do the work. <laughs> um... The fact that we now have this giant wall is very good for us, trust me. Um, most of the enemies will appear on... Well, no, all of the enemies will appear on the outside of the wall. Unfortunately, not all of them are going to be appearing in front of our defences. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, it seems like our teammates aren't that smart when it comes to getting to them, but whatever. <laughs> Some chimeras appear. Uh, did you see that? Bwah! Yeah, so basically there's... It's just the same thing as always. It's just a bit of a fight before uh, the leader of the monsters appear and you have to fight them. Um, the backstory to this, I actually think is kind of cool. It reminds me a lot, I don't know if you guys have seen this because it is going back a couple of years now, of a movie called I, Robot with Will Smith. So I think the leader's about to appear. No, the monsters are defeated. Oh, I meant to open that. Some brownies appear. Okay, so these guys you're going to have to want to take out. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys ever saw iRobot, but basically the robots evolve to a point where they start destroying, um, or they start like quarantining the humans because they figure out that the, the only enemies, the humans, are humans themselves, which is kind of an interesting concept. Alright, brownies. They're, where are they going? Because they can't really do any damage to this place. It's great. Um, if you really wanted to protect your town, you would build the outer wall of obsidian. And you wouldn't put it where I have put my defenses, if that makes sense. Um, you would put the def the wall around the or like within the town border, and that will make more sense later on. Whoop! Jump! Nope, you missed. Sorry, buddy. All right. How horrifying is that, the, the girl? Oh no, it's uh, Sheridan. Okay, we have a knight errand who I believe can actually destroy the the stone walls. Uh, but he's not going to, because he's just going to destroy the spike traps. Everything else, I don't think he can actually... I don't know, actually. Can he destroy the stone walls? I don't think he can. I think, um... Oh, he might be able to. I'm just surprised as to why these this flamethrowers aren't being set off. Oh, uh, maybe he's not quite in range. Like, he should be charging at the, at the wall at this point, and then setting off the flamethrowers. That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, basically it's quite easy to beat this guy, wait until he stops shielding. Uh, because we've got so many team members, he's hardly going to charge at you, which is fantastic. Ouch. I just want all my spike traps back. Alright, victory is ours! Very good, very fine. And we can, we obtain a seed of life. 
I got a feeling they're going to be throwing a lot of Seeds of Life at us. Not only because they heal you straight away, but obviously because we're about to face, you know, the boss of this chapter. Which is going to be pretty grueling. Okay, let's see if... Oh, if I can put these down without burning. Obviously not. Uh, actually, we can just stay out of range there. And I believe that's all of them. Bye-bye, fire-breathing statues. Alright, LaRouche. What do you got to say for us now? You're going into your bedroom, are you? Uh, ah, Dazza, you did well to drive off the monster's last attack. But the golem's army won't be defeated that easily. It seems another horde of monsters are already fast approaching. What do you say, Dazza? Are you ready to fend off the next wave of their assault? Yeah, sure. So, why did the golem destroy the people of Catlin, you ask? It's quite simple, really. The golem began to see the humans as the greatest threat to the city. I robot, I'm telling you. <laughs> You've been to that ruined castle past the Hammerhood's village a few times, right? Let me tell you about that place. After the Dragon Lord cloaked the land in darkness, his armies assaulted Catlin. With the last of their strength, the people of the city built that castle to serve as their last bastion against the monsters. They sealed themselves within the fortress and lived there in safety for quite some time, until they did the unthinkable. With their supplies dwindling, the people began to steal food from each other, and the vicious cycle of violence and retribution began. The castle's halls became the very picture of hell itself. It was at that moment that the golem descended upon the place. But forgive me, I've been idly chatting away as the monsters draw ever closer, and now they are almost upon us. Good luck, Dazza. We're all counting on you. Why me? You guys have got to help as well, right? Alright, here we go. Another assault. So, what say we, uh, we just head up here again? The leader of the monsters approaches already. He's going to take out our spike traps. That's fine. He's also going to stand right in front of the flamethrower. As you can see, the um, oh the skeleton skeleton scrappers appeared. As you can see, the the steel barricades actually prevent the uh, the knights' attacks or stop the knights' attacks. And I think the door. Oh yeah, the door does. But the <laughs> he actually took out the. Oh, he can jump. He can jump. This is badness. This is all kinds of badness. Um, I'm actually going to put that back while my team help. Uh, oh, like this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, can't believe I'm building while there's something attacking out. Oh, you let them through! You let them through, Ken Helm. Oh, he's gonna charge at me. I don't want to do that. Okay, the scorpions are attacking. This is bad. <laughs> Some iron scorpions appeared as well. Oh, this guy's nearly out. Okay, he's blocking. Let's just do a spin attack. I uh, didn't quite take him out, but this should. There we go. Alright, we got some healing cream. We actually haven't taken too much damage there, but the Iron Scorpions are taking damage from the Flamethrowers. Dude, guys, close the door, would you? Alright, there we go. Not bad. Actually, all the monsters are defeated. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Victory is ours! Interesting how the leader appeared first, and we obtained another Seed of Life, of course. Alright. Oh, Laroque has one more quest for us, I believe. Oh, we got an Iron Scorpion Horn. Ouch. Yeah, I have no idea if there's a way you can deactivate these while you, um, while you build, but that would be nice. Okay, pop those there, hoop, run. Let's just set it off, and then, uh, hoop, 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 nope, <sighs> not quite fast enough. I think if we stayed, like, this distance, we'll be fine. Alright, there we go. One more seed of life, let's eat it. Om nom nom, and LaRouche, let's talk to you again. Admirable work on the battlefield, Dazza. You made short work of the Golem's forces. Still, we may have won the battle, but we have not yet won the war. Another beastly battalion is fast approaching. Are you set for another battle? Yes, I am. The men and women who fled from the Dragonlord's forces and took refuge within their castle turned upon each other in an ugly display of pointless bloodshed. On seeing this, the Golem no doubt came to understand that the greatest threat to the city, the city it was built to protect, was mankind itself. And now, mankind has arisen once more. The walls and towers we have built upon these plains will not have gone unnoticed by the golem's ever watchful eye. And no doubt, it will reach the same conclusion as it did before. That, in order to protect the Cantlin, the humans who live here must be destroyed. Hmm. You ask why I remain here? Why I did not run the moment I learnt of the threat this city faced? Heh. <laughs> I knew full well that danger hung over my this place from the very first moment I arrived here. It was always my intention to leave at the first opportunity. However, as I lived alongside you and Pippa and all of Cantlin's other residents, I finally came to understand the true joy of living alongside one's fellow man. 
So please, Zaza, I beg of you, drive back these monstrous hordes, defeat the golem, and protect our home. Not just for our sakes, but for the whole of humankind. Alright, next battle, bring it on. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fairly certain this is the last one. If memory serves well, there were only three uh, hordes of monsters. Oh, Knight Errand, or Errant. Uh, they're fine, because they can't actually do too much damage. It's the, uh, the leader which does too much damage to us. And the skeletons, again, we'll get them to attack the wall if possible. There we go, and then we'll just take on the monsters over here ourselves. Hey, buddy. Oh, some skeleton soldiers appeared. Hey, Magnus, are you going to help? Okay. Basically, these guys aren't too difficult to beat. Um, you're not going to be taking too much damage because of... Um, by now, you should have good defenses. If you defeated that third dragon like I did, you'll have... Um, you'll have the the charm that gives you an extra five defense as well okay defeat this guy and there should be one more monster which will probably be the boss oh wait no there he is all right phase two is about to begin i want that coarse cloth hello ouch all right two knight errants uh, he's gonna attack the wall i will attack this guy because they seem to have the other guy covered Oop, ouch yeah they don't do too much damage it's fine Ow, 12? Really? Oh my goodness, get dead already. Yep, there we go. Skeleton is dead. More skeleton soldiers. Uh, I'll help Magnus out because the other two have got that covered. It's also night time. I don't know if that means other monsters will attack us. If it does, then that's pretty poor timing. Some co cosmic chimeras. Okay. Are they just more difficult chimeras? Do they give anything better than feathers and eggs? <laughs> All right, a couple more Cosmic Chimeras. Easily enough to defeat that one. This one seems, or something seems to have dropped an Iron Bar. I would attack him, but since he's in the corner, I've got a feeling it's gonna be bad. Anyway, I'm actually going to stay out of this bit, because the leader of the monsters appear, and it's, of course, another one of those guys. Actually, I think I am gonna take him on, because he's, I'm gonna try and keep him away from the town, because he's just gonna do damage to the town. He might turn around and attack me, but fast. Oh, out there we go. That's fine. At least he's not shielding yet. Okay, he's going to attack a couple of people there, but they're fine. They've got good defenses. Taking a while to beat this guy. De oh, he's attacking me. Okay, it's fine. He hit into the wall. Guys, turn this guy around so that he doesn't attack the town, because otherwise that means I'm just going to have to rebuild stuff. <laughs> and I've literally only just finished like building stuff, so I don't want to rebuild stuff. As long as he doesn't attack the wall, it should be fine. There we go. Alright. Absolutely fantastic. I want that feather. And one more victory for Team Dazza and Cantlin. And we obtain another seed of a life. Very good. Alright. That'll teach him. Look at uh, above Rollo's head there. He has a very unique icon. Oh, yes, he does indeed. <laughs> so... Uh, first of all, I'm gonna go to sleep, because we're gonna need to do this, well, I don't, I don't want to do this during the day, or during the night even, I want to do this during the day. However, since, um, since we're 13 minutes in, and we have a boss battle looming above our heads, I kind of don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm gonna save it for the next episode. How frustrating, right? <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Hope you all enjoyed. Join me next time when we're going to defeat the boss, or at least challenge the boss of Cantlin, the golem of Cantlin, and uh, see, see how that goes. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>